Emirates Integrated Telecommunications Company Arabic, Shrakt Alamarat Litsalit Almkam commercially rebranded as DU in February 2007, is one of the two telecom operators in the United Arab Emirates the other one being Atisalat. DU offers fixed line, mobile telephony, internet and digital television services across the United Arab Emirates. Topic History. Dew's official name is Emirates Integrated Telecommunications Company (EITC). It was commercially branded as Dew in February 2007. The company had 4.5 million subscribers as of the end of March 2011. The company launched mobile telecommunication services in February of 2007 across the UAE. It reported its 2008 full-year results in February, revealing it had added 1.88 million mobile customers over the 12 months. Revenue of $1.08 billion was 157% up on the previous year. Before the launch of services in 2006, shareholders offered 20% of their shares in an IPO. Emirates Bank and Emirates Financial Services managed the share sale. Topic ownership EITC is 39.5% owned by Emirates Investment Authority 20.08% by Mubadala Development Company, 20% by Emirates Communications and Technology Company LLC and 20.92% by public shareholders, it is listed on the Dubai Financial Market and trades under the name DU. Topic sales and expansion In 2012 DU achieved like-for-like like revenues of US$10.16 billion Arab Emirates dirhams reported revenue US$9.8 billion United Arab Emirates dirhams, an increase of 14.71% on 2011. The company acquired 1,241,251 net new mobile customers, estimating overall market share as 48.7% and value share as 32.5% in their consolidated financial statements for 2012. Mobile data revenue increased by 74% on 2011 taking overall data revenues to US$1.76 billion United Arab Emirates dirhams for 2012, an increase from 2011 data revenues at US$1.01 billion United Arab Emirates dirhams. The company's EBITDA growth for the 2012 was US$3.99 billion United Arab Emirates dirhams, 37.1%, representing an EBITDA margin of 39.37% for 2012. Net profit before royalty grew by 55.81% to reach US$2.82 billion United Arab Emirates dirhams in 2012. The federal government confirmed the royalty charge for 2012 at 5% of revenue and 17.5% of profit, resulting in net profit after royalty of US$1.98 billion United Arab Emirates dirhams. <laughs> <laughs> Financial results Total revenue announced in DU's annual report 2012 in AED millions as 2012 revenue split FY was as follows Topic services and products DU offers mobile and fixed telephony broadband connectivity and IPTV services to individuals homes and businesses the company also provide carrier services for businesses and satellite up-downlink services for TV broadcasters. 
Subscribers to Do Mobile services can be identified by the dialing prefix 055 and 052. On February 11, 2007, Do launched its own mobile service with call tariffs almost identical to those of Atisalat, thus eliminating any possibility of price competition between the two providers. Products and services promoted by Do include Do Live, Pay As You Go prepaid plan with its WOW Recharge Card, Emirati Plan, Do TV Plus, the TV, Internet Dual Play Package Talk and Surf and the TV, Internet, Landline Triple Play Package Talk, Surf and Watch. Among Do's services and campaigns launch were its number booking campaign for both individuals and businesses, pay by the second billing system, mobile TV, and the prepaid plans recharge card WOW, which offers customers the choice between more credit, more time and now the more international recharge option with additional credit on international calls. Do also has an online service portal Selfcare for bill payment and managing subscriptions for its customers. For businesses, services include closed business user group free calling, and preferred international destinations. Do Broadcast Services Division brings scalable media technology platforms and telecommunication solutions to the broadcast community through its Teleport and Master Control Room facilities. In February 2015, Do started offering Volt through its 4G LTE network. Topic: Network. Topic: Radio frequency summary. Topic LTE. Do first launched LTE in 2012 on the FDD LTE Band 3, 1,800 MHz frequency. In August 2014, it was then announced that Do had installed and successfully tested Volt over its network. In July 2014, Do launched CAT. 6 LTE advanced with carrier aggregation and 4x4 MIMO combining 20 MHz of band 3 1800 MHz and 15 MHz of band 20 800 MHz. Topic: Shops The total number of DO stores in the UAE is 56 in May 2013, up from 44 in March 2012. In addition, DO offers its products and services at more than 3,000 authorized dealers in the UAE and through its online shop, accessible at http shopdoae Topic. Corporate governance Topic. Emiratization in the company DO currently has an overall employee emiratization level of 31%, with 41% of hired UAE nationals in executive positions. The telecom company has an established emiratization scheme, Massar, and regularly participates in career fairs across the UAE to capture the attention of young Emiratis. In 2012, DO doubled the number of Emirati staff in their fully Emirati-managed and operated Fujairah-based UAE National Call Center up to 120 employees, 90% of which are females. Also in 2012, 146 Emiratis have successfully graduated from their 18-month Massar graduate trainee program. 
Topic corporate governance and CSR DO has been involved in several corporate governance initiatives in the UAE, Middle East and the USA, promoting best practice through workshops, sponsorships and many more initiatives. Included among these is the sponsorship of the Abu Dhabi Corporate Governance Conference, and of the Hakama OECD 6th Annual Regional Corporate Governance Conference. DO has also applied systematic compliance, embedded within the corporate governance system of the company, with increased environmental initiatives following energy savings directives, as directed by Ahmad bin Bayat, chairman of DO. Further efforts to improve corporate governance include training and development, such as DLA Piper Workshop on Corporate Governance, DO's Sustainable Development Report, Materiality Session Briefing and quarterly industry trends. DO has been ranked first in the S&P, Hakama Environmental, Social and Corporate Governance ESG Index 2011. The ranking comes as a result of the telecommunications company's sustained efforts to enhancing corporate governance standards within the company and community, which have boosted DO up from last year's ranking to achieve the position as a leader and implementer of best practice. Topic Entertainment and Sponsorships Topic Do Live Do Live is the entertainment platform for Do, and its slogan is bringing you the best in live entertainment. Through the Do Live platform, Do sponsors concerts and live events in the UAE, both in Do Arena, Do Forum and other venues. Entertainment sponsorship under the Do Live umbrella included music concerts and festivals such as the annual Do World Music Festival, which hosted names like Gypsy Kings, Sonu Nigam, Natalie Cole, Sting, Andrea Bocelli among others. As part of the Skywards Dubai International Jazz Festival 2011, DO was also the official sponsor for the year's DO Jazz Garden, which took place from 8 to 15 February. The Jazz Festival in Dubai featured British and international bands, in addition to supporting the main jazz festival from 16 to 18 February 2011. Topic. Do Arena The Do Arena is an open-air venue on Yas Island, Abu Dhabi with a standing capacity for 25,000 people, which was called Yas Arena before the rebranding in May 2012 following a four-year deal between Do and The Flash Entertainment, but no value for the deal was announced publicly. The deal marks the Middle East's first naming rights partnership. The rebranding preceded the first Madonna concert, part of her MDNA tour, in the Arab region on 3 and 4 June 2012. Do and Think Flash revamped the venue for Madonna's concert, including building up a new 23 meters by 54 meters stage and developing a complex pyrotechnic and lighting system. Grass has been relayed, gravel removed, tarmac walkways laid down throughout the arena and a central public plaza area featuring merchandise, retail and entertainment has been installed. The Do Arena has hosted many international musicians under the telecoms entertainment platform Do Live, in addition to Madonna, including Eric Clapton, Kylie Minogue, Nickelback, Eminem, Andrea Bocelli, Metallica, Kanye West. West, Lincoln Park, Sting, Creamfield's Dance Music Festival featuring DJs such as Tiesto, David Guetta and Armin van Buren. Furthermore, the Do Arena has also been the venue for the Middle East's first KCON event featuring various K-pop artists such as Bangtan Boys, Taeyeon of Girls' Generation, Cho Kyuhyun of Super Junior, Monsta X, Ailey, SS301, and Spica last March 25, 2016.
Topic: Do Forum. The Do Forum is an indoor live entertainment venue on Yas Island, Abu Dhabi also part of the sponsorship deal that Do signed to get the naming and branding rights of the Do Arena. The indoor venue hosts live performances and music events, and has hosted Chris Tucker, and the Jacksons in their Unity World Tour. Do has signed a four-year sponsorship deal with Abu Dhabi's Flash Entertainment, which had the Emirates concert venue Yas Arena rebranded to Do Arena, and also the Flash Forum renamed to Do Forum. Topic: The Do World Music Festival. The Do World Music Festival has been organized annually by Do Live, and their partners since 2011. The first Do World Music Festival took place at the Burj Khalifa Steps in downtown Dubai and the Walk in JBR between 26 February to 25 March 2011, with performances by top-class artists from around the world such as Tamer Hosni, Mona Amarcha, Janet Kapuya, Mashru, Layla, Amit Chatterjee Alliance, Spongecola, Bust El Ballad. The second Do World Music Festival took place also at the downtown Burj Khalifa Steps, took place between 7–16 March 2012. Free and ticketed events included performances by Gabrielle, The Gypsy Kings, Amr Diab, Rahat Fateh Ali Khan, Stanley Clark, Salif Keita, Sarah Geronimo, George Benson. The third Do World Music Festival took place between the 22nd of March 2013 to the 6th of April 2013, and included famous names as Andrea Bocelli, Natalie Cole, Guns N' Roses, Kadeem Al Sahir, Amr Diab, Eraserheads, Sonu Nigam, Train, Frank Gambali, Papone, among others. This edition included performances at the Do Arena in Abu Dhabi, the Dubai Media City Amphitheatre in Dubai, and in Ras Al Topic: <laughs> Senior management In its operation period since 2006, Do had had just one chief executive, Osman Sultan. Sultan was previously CEO at Oriscom's Mobinal Operations in Egypt. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and Honors. Topic. Certification Awards for 2012 ISO 14001 and OHSAS 18001 certification accredited as a sign of excellence in health, safety and environmentally friendly practices TL 9000 Certification for Network Development Department, the first company in the Middle East to be awarded this certification. Do Retail Shop at Fujaira City Center was awarded the Platinum Lead Green Building Certification, the highest lead ranking possible. Topic: <laughs> Criticism. <laughs> <laughs> The UAE telecom market is highly restricted, with both major players being largely government-owned. There is little real competition, with the choice of provider generally determined by geographic location. Do typically has a monopoly on free zones, while Atisalat has a monopoly elsewhere. Topic: Censorship. In March 2008, Do began selectively blocking VoIP traffic, preventing customers from using the computer-to-phone functionality of VoIP systems. 
The blocking is justified on the grounds that computer-to-phone VoIP services are illegal under UAE telecom law. Both of the telecoms providers in the UAE derive a large proportion of their income from expatriates making expensive international calls to their home countries. However, a specific exemption in the telecom law permits the use of VoIP for computer-to-computer -computer calls, and so it is still possible to access VoIP websites, download VoIP software, set up accounts and use the software to make computer-to-computer -computer calls, both audio and video. If a computer-to-phone call is attempted, it will typically fail to connect unless a VPN is used see below. On April 14, 2008, DU started instituting the same widespread censorship of the web that has been practiced by Atisalat for some years. Any attempt to access content deemed inappropriate by the UAE censor results in a blocked page which includes pornography, inappropriate blogs, forums and news articles that are critical of the UAE. Topic: <laughs> DNS resolvers. DNS Server 1, 94.200.200.200 DNS Server 2 91.74.74 .74. <laughs> See also Atisalat Telecommunications in the United Arab Emirates <laughs>